in high school geometry, all the angles that you studied had measures between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. In trigonometry, we're going to consider angles that have measures greater than 180 degrees, as well as angles with negative measure. Now, how are such angles possible? Well, let's consider angle AOB shown on the screen as being formed by rotating the ray OA to the position with the ray OB where the red indicates the angle of rotation. Side OA is called the initial side of our angle. And the ray OB is called the terminal side of our angle. If an angle has its initial side on the positive half of the x-axis and its vertex at the origin, we say that that angle is in standard position. Angles for which rotation is considered are called directed angles. Angles for which the rotation is counterclockwise, which was the case here, would be positive angles, and angles formed by rotating clockwise are negative. Let's look at some examples. Here are the coordinate axes. And suppose now I want a 210 degree angle. Well, we start with our initial side on the positive x-axis. Then we rotate 90 degrees until we hit the y-axis. Another 90 degrees puts us on the negative part of the x-axis. That's now a total of 180 degrees. And we need to rotate an additional 30 degrees. This is what an angle of 210 degrees looks like. Since the terminal side of a 210 degree angle lies in the third quadrant, we refer to 210 degrees as a third quadrant angle. Now, let's see what a negative 85 degree angle looks like. Well, since this angle is negative, we're going to, again, we always start on the positive x-axis. And now, since it's negative, we're going to rotate clockwise 85 degrees. So the rotation will be going negatively 85 degrees. This is what an angle of negative 85 degrees looks like. Let's now look at a 750 degree angle. Since this is positive, we're going to rotate counterclockwise. Now, one complete revolution would be 360 degrees. A second complete revolution is 360 plus 360, or 720 degrees. And then to make it 750, we need to go an additional 30 degrees. So this is what a 750 degree angle looks like. It's a first quadrant angle. The last angle I drew, the negative 85 degree angle, is a fourth quadrant angle. Now, let's do another one. And this time, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a 30 degree angle. A 30 degree angle, since it's positive, we rotate it counterclockwise, 30 degrees, landing in the first quadrant. Now notice that the terminal side of the 750 degree angle and the terminal side of the 30 degree angle are the same. The only way to distinguish between the two is to show the two additional complete revolutions that we made for the 750 degree angle. Some vocabulary. We will refer into this course to the phrase coterminal angles. Coterminal angles are two angles that share the same terminal side. So what would be an example of coterminal angles? 750 degrees and 30 degrees. They are coterminal angles. 
We'll continue this lesson on the next movie.